I'm going to finish off with a short version of the song which started the Porter Collection off, Banks of Champlain. It's about the Battle of Plattsburgh Bay uh, in 1814. Uh, Bevan McNamara is with me this evening. She is one of Marjorie Lansing Porter's great granddaughters, and she is a professional sign language interpreter, and she's going to sign this as we sing it. Thomas McDonald was in charge of the American Naval Forces, and uh, Sandy McComb was in charge of the Land Forces at the Battle of Plattsburgh Bay. This is supposedly a poem written by Sandy McComb's wife as she was here in Plattsburgh, listening to the sounds, seeing the sights, seeing the people coming back in. Must have been a horrific sight for her. Thanks to Champlain. Brothers, autumn and round me, the leaves was descending. And not but the drumming bird tapped on the tree. Whilst thousands of rights and their freedoms defending, the sound of their arms sounded dismal to me. For Sandy, my love, was engaged in the action. His death would have ended our life in distraction. Without him I value this life not a fraction, as mournful I strayed on the banks of Champlain. Then turning to list to the cannon's loud thunder, my elbows I leaned on the rocks near the shore. The sounds nearly parted my heartstrings asunder. I thought I should see my dear Sandy no more. Oh, the cannons ceased firing, the drums were still beating. The foes of our country far north were retreating. The neighboring damsels each other were greeting with songs of delight on the banks of Champlain. New York, the Green Mountains, Macomb and McDonough, the soldier, the sailor, the farmer, the gunner. Each party united had pledged their honor to conquer or die on the banks of Champlain. 